I'm Isaac Mitz. Welcome to the Month of Shreds training program. The Month of Shreds program is a four week fat loss training program where you get to follow me around every single day for four weeks seeing how I eat, how I train. You're gonna see me in the gym, in the kitchen, in everyday life. You're gonna see how I adapt to things and how I make this program work. Things are going to come up during this program and there's no way of getting around that. People have jobs, we have families, we have school, we have events that pop up. There's no getting around that. But I show you how to adapt to things. I'm not your average college student who just gets to go to class, come back to his apartment, sit on his ass all day, watch TV, eat top ramen, and just go get fucked up on the weekends. I am a full-time pre-med student who at the time of this program was taking physiology and chemistry in the same semester. It was by far the hardest semester I've had in college so far. Also, I work multiple jobs and I have family and friend events that pop up during this program, but I still get it done. I make this thing work because I want the results. It doesn't matter how busy you are, if you have family, if you have a truck driving job, for example, or if you work a graveyard shift, it doesn't matter how busy you are. I don't have all the time in the world either, but I wanted this bad enough so I made it work. If I don't make any excuses, if I don't have any excuses to make, and I see this through to the end, you guys don't have any excuses to make either and you can see it through to the end as well. It depends on how bad you want it. You want it or not, that's it. So, if you're ready, listen up. Here are the details for the program. A little bit of history behind this program. Uh, I'd first done this when I got invited to spend a week down at the beach with a friend of mine and their family. And I was not at all in the condition to be shirtless at the beach. And I only had about a month to prepare for it. So I decided to kind of take things that I'd learned from doing different programs from bodybuilding.com that I'd done in the past, kind of combine their diets and their training programs and take what had worked for me and put it all into one thing. And it was four weeks long and it worked great for me. This is typically what I go back to if I get kind of out of shape and then I want to get a little bit more shredded. The reason I wanted to do this again and make a video series out of it was because I had gotten into the worst condition that I'd ever been in in my life. I'm, I'm going to go that far and say that. I was probably in the low 20s in body fat percentage and I had never been that out of shape ever. I'm an active guy. I played sports all my life. I've never gotten that out of shape. I was about 243. And this was after doing a little bit of a bulking program thing where I was eating burgers and ice cream most nights on training days. And I gained muscle, it worked, but I also gained plenty of fat along with it and I was not in the shape that I wanted to stay in. And the training is going to be mostly weightlifting. Uh, it's gonna be bodybuilding style based where you're gonna be hitting certain muscle groups on certain days of the week. Say we have legs one day, we have arms the next or chest or shoulders or back just the major muscle groups for that just one day. This is not gonna be your average three sets of eight to 12. I don't do what the book tells you to do. You know, three sets of eight to 12 with a minute in between rest uh, for if you're trying to build muscle size. I don't do that. I do low reps, I do high reps, I do long rest periods, low rest periods, drop sets, supersets, giant sets, you name it, I probably do it. I'm gonna be keeping you on your toes. I'm gonna make this challenging. I'm gonna make it interesting for you. You're not gonna get bored. With this program, however, in between sets, you're not going to be simply resting, sitting down on the bench, playing with your phone. You're going to be doing what's called cardio acceleration, and that's basically cardio in between your set. So say you get done with a bench press, a set on bench press, and you're going to get up right away, and one example could be running in place. You're just going to do high knees for one minute, and you're not going to be going so fast that you're burning, that you're like totally exhausting yourself. You're just going to be doing this so that way it keeps your heart rate up. You could do running in place. You could do mountain climbers, jump rope. You can do sprints if you want to. You can do uh, in and outs. You can do jumping jacks, whatever you can think of. Anything that's going to keep your heart rate up and keep your body going is gonna be what's required. So make sure it's not too intense that it's just burning your muscle, you don't want that. You want something that's gonna keep your heart rate up and it's gonna keep your metabolism going. And at the end of the workout, you could be doing close to 20 minutes of cardio. So it's also a time saver instead of having to do a workout and then cardio right after or before or anything else. This is gonna be very time saving for you and it's gonna be very, very effective. Nutrition, 
Nutrition is going to be the most important part of this program. You cannot outtrain a bad diet. If you have any, any thought in your head that says you can do that, throw it out right now. It is not going to work, especially on this program. You cannot outtrain a bad diet. You cannot go eating cheeseburgers or ice cream or pumpkin spice lattes because we're in October right now and think that you can just out-train it, that it's just going to be something that's so minuscule it's not going to make a difference. You cannot out-train a bad diet. Throw that thinking out right now. For our food sources, for proteins, you need to be eating things like chicken, turkey, fish. If you're having a fattier fish like salmon, just have once a day. Steak, same thing with steak, just have one a day. Protein powder, if you choose to use a protein powder, I don't. Egg whites and whole eggs. That's what you have to work with for protein sources. For the carbs, you can have whole wheat spaghetti, whole wheat bread, you can have rice, oats, quinoa, just whole, whole food sources that are gonna be slow digesting and make sure your insulin levels don't rise and drop dramatically. Uh, I like to use pasta just because it has more of protein per gram of carb, it has more protein in it, so that way I don't have to spend as much money on meats. That's my preferred carb source. You don't have to do that. You can have any one of those carb sources that I just listed. You need to be eating a good amount of protein every single day. You're gonna be trying to hit about 1.25 grams of protein per pound of body weight. It's right in that mid-range that's recommended for a bodybuilding type of diet. Anywhere from one to 1 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight each day. We're gonna be hitting the midway point, 1.25 grams of protein per day. So say you're 200 pounds, uh, you're gonna be hitting about 250 grams of protein every single day. And basically what you can do to help, if you can't get that much food down, do plenty of a post-workout. Do like 50 grams of protein post-workout in a little bit of your shake that you make, and then do, say for six meals, do like 36 grams, 33 grams of protein per meal through the day. So just to make it a little bit easier. For carbs, you're gonna be hitting about 0.65 grams per pound of body weight. For fats, we're not gonna be counting our fats in this program. You're gonna be getting your fats from your protein sources and your carb sources. We're, just because you can get plenty of fats from those sources and also because it makes it a little easier to track your calories, just that much more. Each week of the program, we're gonna be dropping our calories just a little bit. But I'm not gonna be making you necessarily count the calories that you're dropping, but we're gonna be taking out little little things that actually can make a big difference. Like for me, say I could cut out my uh, red sauce that I put on my uh, pasta every week. Uh, I could cut out the egg yolks and my eggs in the mornings, or I could cut out the cheese that I add to my pasta. Just little things where if you cut them out, they can make a big difference. So we're not gonna be necessarily counting the calories that we drop out week by week. You wanna be making a little bit of a cut each week, otherwise your body will adapt and you're not gonna keep losing weight. So that little bit of a drop is gonna keep your body cooking, it's gonna keep your metabolism going, it's gonna make your results keep coming. And when it comes to counting the calories from your protein and your carbs, if you don't know how to do that, you don't know how to cook your food, how to measure it, don't worry. I do it in the first week so you understand exactly how to do it. For managing your cravings, uh, I like to use things like diet sodas, zero calorie, uh, Powerade Zero, I do that. And you can even do like little 10 calorie sugar-free Jello uh, square things that you find at uh, Walmart. They're actually pretty good flavors. On this program, you are allowed to have cheat meals. However, you're gonna be saving them for when something comes up. For me personally, during this program, I had a friend's birthday and I had Thanksgiving happen. So I didn't miss out on them because we're not training for a contest or a bodybuilding competition, nothing like that. You still wanna enjoy life and still be able to appreciate time that you have with your loved ones. So if you do have a cheat meal, only have so much. Eat until you're satisfied, not until you're absolutely stuff. Don't binge eat. Otherwise, you're going to be setting yourself back and you're going to be right back where you started before the program. So you can have the cheat meal. Try and make it on a training day at least, but keep in mind your best results possible are going to come if you don't have any cheat meals at all. If you pass up on it, if you stick to the meal plan and eat the foods that you're supposed to eat, you're going to get the best results. You're going to lose the most weight. You're going to look the most shredded. 
So if you can, try and skip out on the cheat meals. For the supplementation on this program, there are no supplements required at all. I don't take any fat burner, I don't do any protein powders, nothing like that. For a post-workout shake, what I do is egg whites and Powerade Zero. That's it. Egg whites because it's protein, it is safe to drink, it's already been heated up, the bacteria's been killed off, and the Powerade just to add in a little bit of a taste. Powerade Zero, that's key. Don't use the regular Powerade, otherwise you're going to be getting sugar in after the workout. You don't want that. You just want the protein from the egg whites, that's it. If you are going to take supplements, just take ones for general health, like I do. During the first week, I explain what I take and why I take them, but just to say it right now, I do a multivitamin, I do vitamin D, fish oil, calcium, and vitamin C. That's it. I just take ones to keep me healthy. That is it. Those are the details for the Month of Shreds program. So get your shopping list done, go to the store, buy all the food, cook it up, and get ready for the week. Some other things you can buy just to make things a little easier are Tupperware containers for your meals on the go, a food scale, you can get one for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks at Walmart, and also some spices to make the food a little less bland. Four weeks, it's all it's gonna take, guys. Give it your best effort, you're gonna get the best results possible. Let's get this shit going. Good luck, here we go.